I thank you for clicking on one of my videos to watch. My name is Lynn. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. So, welcome to fall here in Ontario. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. It's actually end of May, mid-May, sorry. The last couple of days, we had temperatures that were way too hot. Like, it felt like July here on the weekend. And the last and today it decided it was going to go back to October type temperatures, which means I had to haul all my plants back in last night and then put them back out again this morning when the temperature went above 52 Fahrenheit. So they're finally back out and it's just a miserable, cool day. Um, I can't do a whole lot outside. There's a couple things I want to do. I got to harvest some rhubarb, but other than that, I thought, okay, I'm going to do a baking day. It's kind of cool in the house. Let's do it. So I have a bunch of eggs to use up <laughs> and I also have lemons that are starting to go a little redhead throw to away so I thought I better get to these so I'm going to make a lemon pound cake now if you are baking challenged <laughs> pound cake is the easiest cake you can make it doesn't require a frosting if you don't want one you can put a glaze or powdered sugar on it or you can leave it it has very few ingredients it's meant to be dense, so you don't have to worry about it getting a nice rise and being all fluffy and all that. Um, it's just super, super easy. It's one of my husband's favorite cakes, pound cake, and lemon. He loves anything lemon, so don't I. So we're going to make lemon pound cake, okay? So, like I said, it only has a few ingredients. It has one cup of unsalted uh, room temperature butter, one and a half cups of sugar, a zest of two large lemons, five eggs, which is great. A third cup of sour cream. I don't have sour cream, so I'm using uh, plain Greek yogurt today. A teaspoon of vanilla, one and a half cups of flour, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna throw it on the floor, <laughs> the recipe. That's all that's in that, that's it. Easy peasy. So let's get mixing it up. So I have the butter in here, and I've cut it up into small pieces just to make it easy. So we just need to blend this up until it's whipped up a little bit and it goes pale in color. So I have here a grease with butter, a glass loaf pan. Um, the recipe tells you to use a grease parchment paper. I honestly have never had a lot of luck with that. So I just greased this really well with some butter. And this is a nine by five pan, okay? So this butter's just about done. It's a lot paler in color. So after about two or three minutes, this is what you get. It's much paler. Okay, so now we're just going to add the sugar to the butter. And it is, I think I already told you, but I'll say it again. It's one and a half cups of sugar. So we're going to add that. So this has to go to its light and fluffy, seven to ten minutes. Make sure you stop every so often and scrape down the sides of your bowl. Okay, we're about halfway halfway to the light and fluffy. We'll have after it's beat for a few minutes. So now we're going to add the eggs one at a time, which is going to be fun because I have them all in the bowl here. <laughs> okay, here we go. And then this is five. There we go. Five eggs. I'm going to add the yogurt or sour cream. Third of a cup. What's great about pound cakes is there's no baking soda, there's no baking powder. And the vanilla. Calls for one teaspoon, I'm adding two. Show you what it looks like. I'm 
right about now you're probably panicking. Don't panic, it's okay. <laughs> it's supposed to look like this. <laughs> zest, the two large lemons. I just use my zesting plane, planer, planer, but if you don't have one, cheese grater works great too. Okay, we're going to add all that lemon zest. It's very fragrant. It smells so good. It smells like summer in here, even if it doesn't feel like it. take it off the mixer because we're going to do everything else by hand. We're going to add the flour and the salt by hand so we don't deflate the batter by mi over mixing it. I'm just going to try and scrape off of the, as much of this as I can, especially consider some of it is the lemon zest. like it looks curdled don't panic <laughs> Just to make sure. okay so I'm gonna add the flour and the half a teaspoon of salt okay and we're gonna fold it I wish you could smell this. The lemon smells so good. So, do I have lemon fans there out here? Anyone agree with me? The lemon's amazing. I put lemon in my water. We love lemonade. My husband loves lemon pie. Okay, I think we're all incorporated. I'm just going to check the bottom one more time. Okay, so we're going to pour this into our prepared dish. And the oven is set at 325 degrees, and this does take a long time to bake. It's going to take anywhere from an hour to 75 minutes. So I'll put it in for the hour and check on it. In an hour in the oven in an hour for and in the oven for an hour it is going so you're probably wondering what are we going to do with those lemons that we zested well if i was going to make lemon curd i would do that right away i'm not going to make lemon curd today even though my husband would love me and it would go great with the pound cake i'm going to show you what i do when i have um like i did a whole bunch of these back in january when actually lemons are in season it's funny how lemons are associated with summer but they actually are in season in January and February. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do with these. So I have my juicer here, and it might be a little bit harder to juice the ones that you've zested, so you can probably just squeeze them. Yeah, much easier. Okay. Oh yeah, that one.
even as a kid, I loved lemons. I was the kid who everyone would get lemon with their water and they'd give it all to me and I'd eat them. <laughs> and I would make a face. <laughs> okay. And I have a strainer here and a measuring cup. I don't want the seeds. And these ones will probably juice. And just for a tip, especially if you have like a harder lemon like this, if you roll it, I did this with the uh, ones I zested. It helps bring the juice out and it makes it much easier to juice. Sometimes it gets so juicy when you cut it, yeah, it start, the juice starts coming out immediately. Pit too. So I have this right here and I love this. I got this off of Amazon. I have this one and I have these two. This has got like a hard lid. These are a softer lid. And I use these for a lot of things. Today we're going to use them. I'm going to pour and it's it's about a tablespoon that they hold. So I'm just going to fill this up. Now I already have a lot but you can also you could have zested those lemon those other lemons I had and you can also freeze the zest too the same way and then you've got fresh lemon zest that one I overfilled so I'm going to take some out of it or the lid won't close okay lid goes on I put them in the freezer and once they're frozen solid I just put them in a ziploc bag and I have lemon juice. I let it thaw out. I have lemon juice to make curd, lemonade. Um, I've actually frozen a lot of my lemon juice I had from January in half cup and one cup sizes for the lemonade this summer. But I do have a few tablespoons. Sometimes I just put it in my water just to flavor my water because I get so sick of plain water. So yeah, right into the freezer that's going to go until they're solid. And like I said, you can do the same thing. You could, I could have filled up the rest of these with zest, but I have a lot of zest already frozen. You could still zest those if you wanted to. They're a little bit harder once you cut them and juice them, but it's not impossible. So that is what I do with the leftover lemon juice. Just a quick tip. So I'll see you back here when the pound cake comes out of the oven. So my pound cake took about 70 minutes total. I really, really wish you could smell this. It smells so good. So this is it cooling. So it's a little crackly on the top because frankly, I had too much butter <laughs> greased on my dish, but it's okay. It's it, not going to affect the flavor. I'm just going to show you how, see how thick and dense it is. If I was really picky, but what it looked like on top, I would do like a nice little lemon glaze or a vanilla glaze or some powdered sugar just to cover the top, but it's not going to affect the taste at all. Um, as soon as it started cooking, the butter melted too much and it went on top and did that. But we actually kind of like that buttery top, so I'm not going to complain about it. So there you go, folks. When your lemons are going bad and life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade, make lemon pound cake. Till then, take care, God bless, and we'll see you all soon.